Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare. And today I am like so excited to talk to you guys about this because you know what? This video has been on my mind for a long time. You know, because I get a lot of comments and this video is going to be about how to afford luxury skincare. You guys, so many people comment like, oh my gosh, like all the skincare products you use are so expensive. Like, how do you do it? How old are you? Like, you know what I mean? And I wanted to just kind of share my tips and I don't I don't, I want to consider them secrets, but I want to let you guys know my method because I am by no means like a millionaire. I'm not out there like, you know, dropping racks, dropping bags. You know what I mean? Like I, like I wish, but I have this insane skincare collection and okay so let's just get started please don't mind my hair it's like wild today but i'm gonna honestly tell you guys what i do to afford such expensive skincare so you have to prioritize what you want to buy you have to decide where you want your money to go okay i talk to so many people who will be like wow i wish i had a skincare collection like that but i would never pay that much for an item right well to me that's just like okay you want it but you're not willing to prioritize to get it it's about prioritizing where you want your money to go and deciding okay do i want to go shopping and buy a couple t-shirts for 50 bucks or do i want to save that 50 dollars and put it towards a la mer product also, um, it's really just making that decision that every time you get extra money, it's like a form of saving. You know, you want to just, you're choosing to put it towards skincare. Out of everything else in the world, you want to put your money into gorgeous skincare to obtain gorgeous skin. Also, I think what goes along with prioritizing uh, to buy these products is you really have to love skincare and wants the best for your skin and it's really like luxury skincare and skincare routines in general they're a commitment you're committing every day to put this lotion or cream or whatever serum on your face and it's a commitment so yes prioritizing is rule number one or tip number one tip number two is you have to like I said, I'm not a multimillionaire where I just have a ton of money that I just put all at once on skincare. I build my routines up. I would, I never would go be able to go into a La Mer store or Sephora or Nordstrom and just buy a whole routine at once. You need to be patient when buying these products because you're buying products at like over $200 a pop. You know, it takes time to build these things and only buy skincare products you need don't buy excess and waste your money the goal is to achieve the perfect routine for you my perfect routine was always la mer so and i couldn't afford everything at once so every time i would run out of something i would then go to replace it and that is it i never buy two of the same product i never buy an extra creme de la mer uh along with my tonic like no i already have creme de la mer i'm gonna wait on that until it is finished in full use only what you need that's another thing when you're buying expensive skincare it's kind of like time to be just a little like greedy i wouldn't be so quick to like let it you know you know you're try it on your husband or put it, you know, like you, like I tried doing that in the past. My husband was like, Morgan, you, that's your cream, bro. Like he doesn't, he doesn't have to be like that, but he's like, that's your cream. Like, don't put it on me. You know, I, he knows how much I spend on them. So you kind of just have to pay attention to how much you're using. Pay attention to the directions and the instructions. Don't just take this $200 jar of cream and use excess of what you actually need and smother it over your face. You're going to go through it a lot faster and you're not going to, so therefore you're not going to have it as long and you're going to have to replenish it again. Use the products only by what you need and sparingly. The way I use my really expensive skincare, such, such as my La Mer or Sisley products, is they're strictly part of my night routine, okay? 
I try to split the things up. In my opinion, I think everybody should be using their best skincare at night. That is when your skin has time to kind of rejuvenate. Having the best products on your skin helps aid for you to wake up to much better, more even out skin. So yeah, use sparingly and just really pay attention to how much you're using and only use what you need. Tip number four, in terms of affording, utilize gifts. All right, so if you're lucky to get gifts, if it's your birthday, if it's the holidays, if your husband or girlfriend or whomever, wife wants to go buy you something and for some occasion, graduation party, marriage. <laughs> wait, did I use money for, me, for my, no, okay, wait. Okay, anyway, girl, I didn't go that far. Um, but try to ask for gift cards. I know that a lot of people don't like giving gift cards as gifts, but you guys save the gift cards. Get a gift card, I don't care if it's a $10, $5 gift card from a secret Santa. Girl, always get the gift cards and save them. I personally will always try to get a gift card from like Sephora because I know Sephora's got La Mer. I know they started carrying Gourlain. I know Sephora's got, Sephora's got the good stuff, right? Okay, although Ulta does carry Paracon. MD and I really like, girl, just another subject. Try to get the Sephora if you really want the little mare. Okay, so yeah, utilize gift cards and save your gift cards. If you get a $5 gift certificate, don't just run out to the store and buy a lip gloss. Save it, okay? And also getting a specific gift card to Sephora rather than like a Visa gift certificate, it kind of forces you to only utilize it in one place. And that one place just so happens to have La Mer. If you like other products like La Prairie, then definitely try to get a Nordstrom gift card, you know, or a Saks girl. Um, anyway, save your gift cards. Try to, um, if somebody's getting you a gift or insisting on getting you a gift, try to get a gift card. I mean, I wouldn't ask, oh yeah, by the way, um, I want that <laughs> creme de la mer, that jar of creme de la mer. That's going to run you 180 bucks. Thanks. Bye. No, no, no. We don't accept, you know, that's a little crazy. But if you go the gift card route and save your gift cards, you're going to be there quicker, right? And it's like kind of like a win-win. Somebody was able to give you a gift and you were able to save your gift and then eventually you could show them, look, I saved, I saved this and got this. Whether they think it's stupid or not is, you know, whatever. Okay, my next step is always look out for sales. I say this in like a lot of my videos. Stay tuned for the sales. Look up online, CUS 20% off. These big department stores, Norm, Nordstrom, Neiman, Saks, they always have like 20, 25% off sales. Get into that, follow that. Do not be ashamed to shop sales. Of course, we all know I love the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. I stock up. The 20% goes a long, long way, okay? Also, Sephora, if you build up a certain amount of points, will actually give you a $100 gift card towards their store to use. That's if you build up a certain amount of points, but I literally bought, what, what, what did I buy? The cleansing gel. The cleansing gel is $95. I had $100 free from Sephora that I just got my cleansing gel with. Done. You know, and then it's like, oh wow, I have a $100 cleanser. And, you know, it's great. Utilize the point systems that Ulta and Sephora have. Nordstrom, everything. Follow the sale. Also, don't be ashamed that when you're checking out, if you make the decision, like if you go on lamare.com, they always have samples. Take the samples. Use the samples. Try different products out via through the samples to make sure that is a product that you want. If you don't like the luxury products that you're using, don't be afraid to return them. Get your $200 back, get your $300 back and put it towards a different product, you know? And it's just kind of like a juggling act of money and how you wanna spend it, really. It's just always trying to take advantage of any little like corner you can like, like it's very important, okay? Like just juggle your money. And then last but not least, just old fashioned save. Okay, girl, if you're getting a couple extra bucks from something, somewhere, the paycheck, whatever, don't go, don't go and be quick to spend it on stuff. Why don't you put that to the side? Put the extra 50 bucks. 50 bucks goes a long way, okay? Because if you get 50 extra bucks from somewhere, I don't know 
right? That's only 50 more dollars that you could get the tonic with. Then, oh, if you're lucky, you get the 20% off and then boom, you're spending less. Don't be afraid to also buy these smaller 0.5 ounces of the Creme de la Mer from Sephora because that gets you a long way. And also what I like to recommend is only use luxury products that do go a long way. So you guys, I think that about sums up my video. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope I didn't come across as like weird or like stingy or anything like that. But you know, I am aware that a lot of us are not millionaires. I am not a millionaire, okay? I don't have this unlimited credit card that I could just go swipe, 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 swipe like I wish I had, okay? We gotta hustle. We gotta make decisions. We gotta be responsible about this stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I, there's never gonna be a day where you see me go buy a $200 jar of cream and my bills aren't paid. That's really all I have to say. So you guys, I hope you guys have the best day. I hope you guys get the best products for your skin and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, share your thoughts. Of course, I would love to have you guys as subscribers. I'm always uploading and I view all my subscribers as part, as like friends and also family. Like some of, the, some of my subscribers who I really talk to a lot, like I, I've actually, develop like a real connection and I just want to let you guys know I love you guys and I appreciate you guys a lot. So stay tuned for the next video. Love you. Bye.